Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Beard. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how many IQ key fobs. These are going to be the uh, QS1331-840. These are the S-Line key fobs. And I'm going to be showing you guys how many of these we can actually learn into the Quolsys IQ Panel 2 and the IQ Panel 2 Plus because they're exactly the same thing. It's just the Plus has the Power G Daughter Bird card built in. But today, I'll be showing you guys how to learn these in to the IQ Panel 2 or the 2 Plus. It's the same exact process. Um, so the first thing to ask is how many of these can you learn in? So the system itself, it supports up to 128 wireless sensors or devices. It could be doors, windows, motion, smoke, CEOs, flood detectors, um, key fobs, it supports up to, up to 128 different zones. What does that mean for you? Each key fob takes up one zone. So theoretically, you can have 128 key fobs if you really wanted to, but the normal person that's using an, an alarm system is not gonna have 128 key fobs just laying around that are tied into their system because if anybody gets access to it, they can easily arm and disarm your system and probably break in and you know, uh, steal things. So we want to make sure that uh, when you guys are, are learning in these key fobs, I'm going to show you guys this in a second, um, that you guys, whenever you're programming in sensors, you're not going over the 100 and 128. Now, normally, if you're installing this in a home or apartment, something residential, uh, you're usually not going to use up all 128 slots for the system. Uh, but it's nice to know that you have all those available zones if you guys ever want to add extra devices. If you guys are installing this in a commercial location, that's where you guys are going to have to keep track of how many sensors and devices you guys are adding. So to make sure you guys aren't surpassing the 128 limit. If you guys pass the 128 limit, you're not going to be able to add anything else. So just keep that in mind. All right. So these sensors actually learn in fairly easily. Uh, they all have, well, the IQ2 and the IQ2 Plus have that auto uh, have the auto learn feature where you put the panel into a listening mode you trigger the sensor or the device today we'll be using the key fobs and uh, and then it just picks up on the on the radio frequency you match the serial number and you just change any settings that need to be changed um, let's go ahead and get right into it so to program devices into your system you are going to need the dealer code or the installer code the installer code if the system is brand new it's going to be 1111. The dealer code, if it's brand new, the dealer code will be 2222. Now, if you have this activated with a company or if you yourself have changed the codes, you want to make sure you're using the correct installer or dealer code. So to do this, you're going to hit the very top button on the top of the, in the middle of the screen. It'll bring down the little menu. You need to hit on settings. Once you hit settings, you're then going to go to advanced settings. This is where you're going to need to enter in your user code. You need to enter in the installer or the dealer code. I'm going to enter in my installer for now. One, 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 one. If you enter in your code and you are not taken to this screen, you are not using the correct code. Um, another screen you may get if you are using the correct code, this will be my dealer code screen, will be something like this. Again, if you're not getting this screen, you are not using the correct code. You're probably using a master code, which is not going to allow you to go into programming. So uh, I'm already here um, in the dealer menu. It could have worked the same in my installer menu as well. You're going to go to installation, the very top left button. From there, we're going to learn in a new device. So I'm going to hit devices. And this is going to be a security sensor. And I'm going to go to the auto learn sensor. This is going to put the panel into listening mode. Now, it's very important when you put the panel into listening mode, keep in mind, if anybody opens a door, if anybody walks past a motion that's on, that device is going to send out a radio, a radio signal. When it sends that out, the panel is going to pick up on it. So make sure when you guys are auto learning sensors in, when it brings up the serial number, you guys match it to your device. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my Colsus fob. All right. Now to learn in this Colsus fob, you have to press the unlock and the lock button. It's the little circle in the middle 
And if you press those two at the same time, press and hold and then release, you'll see the red light come on and the serial number will populate. Now, if you wanna match the serial number, you can look at the DL, Delta Lima, and it says 8545F5. It's the same that you see on, on the Qualsys IQ2. So now you know that the correct sensor was picked up by the panel. After you match the serial number, you're gonna hit OK. Now from here, the only thing that you need to change is gonna be the sensor name. You can go ahead and give it a custom description. I'll go ahead and I'll name it George Fob. You can, uh, that's really the only thing that needs to be changed. The sensor type is set to key fob. Again, you can match the serial number in the top left, which is a sensor DLID. The sensor group will remain as mobile intrusion. Um, voice prompts, you can leave them on. You don't need to enable chime. And after you finish this, you're just going to hit add new. Sensor added successfully. And you'll see that one key fob is one is one zone. That's my zone number two. Um, I can learn in the second one and it'll learn in a zone number three. I'm gonna leave this as is. After you're done, just hit the little house icon. It'll back you out to the main screen. And then I can go ahead and hit the little lock icon. Press and hold. So it'll arm the system away. It'll let you know who armed it. So it said Jorge Fab armed away. And then I'll go ahead and I'll disarm it by holding the little unlock button. Jorge Fab disarmed. And Jorge Fab disarmed. So that's basically just a quick video on how to program in a Quoxis key fob. It's probably going to be that's the quickest way to learn it in. As you see, it easily starts arming and disarming your system. These Quolsys, uh, I, these IQ fobs, these S-Line uh, devices, they actually have a range of 100 feet, so they will arm and disarm your system up to 100 feet away. Um, now, obviously, if it's going through construction and uh, a couple of different obstacles, the range may be decreased. Now, there are other key fobs that work with the Quolsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. This is the panel that works with PowerG devices, and if you guys plan on using PowerG key fobs, those key fobs actually have a range of up to 2,000 feet. Um, and again, obviously, if it's going through construction and different obstacles, the range will be decreased as well. But the PowerG sensors, if you guys do have the IQ2+, Plus, um, they'll give you a longer range, which I don't necessarily think you need when you're using an IQ fob, because you don't want to arm it from like a mile away or anything like that but um it's just nice to know that you have a little more range if like the system is on the far side of the house um so yeah this was just a quick video on how to uh quickly learn in these iq fobs as you saw we quickly got to arming and disarming right after we learned it in all we had to do was change the name on the key fob um, which you guys can change it to whoever you guys plan on giving the key fobs to as my name mine jorge fob um, if you guys have any questions about how to learn in di different devices, how to learn in IQ fobs, um, how to learn in Power G sensors, or just getting the system monitored, we do that as well. You can send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that little bell icon so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.